everybody! Welcome to another wow video to Simply Sarah's Kitchen. We're going to put in two tablespoons of olive oil. We got our pan heating up. While we wait for our pan to finish heating up, I need to chop a half of an onion or a whole onion and my little tiny chopper from Tupperware. This is called the Prep and Chef Chopper. It's the smaller version one. And I sell Tupperware and my link's down on the bottom. Or you can write me on my Facebook where to get it at. So we're gonna put our onion in. Everybody, get it in the pan, and then don't forget your lid because a lot of it clicks on the lid too. So get it off that lid. Someone wants to know if you like a copper pan. Um, this one is a good one. Now the red ones with that lady that don't have the don't have the man with the real copper man, they're no good. But this one has been doing me good. It don't stick or anything. So we're going to saute our onion for a couple minutes. Someone says they're making your mac and cheese your way tonight for dinner, Sarah. Mmm, that's going to be good. It will be good. It's guaranteed to be good. Okay. You can use any kind of fake beef that you want. I'm using the Gardenia Beefless Tips Homestyle. I'm doing two packs, and each pack is 12. Oh, no. How many ounces is this? Is this? Is this you at least want. Oh, yeah. Nine ounces, so you at least want about a pound and a half, or two if you're feeding a lot. Um, there's different brands out there, or you can make um, seitan and chop it up into cubes and use, or just do all mushrooms and don't do anything. So then it goes in the pot, and we're just going to brown these up. Shout out to Slime Sisters and... Slime Sisters? <laughs> yes. Hey, Slime Sisters! And shout out to Michael and Kitty. Hi, Michael and Kitty! Alright. We're going to brown them up for a few minutes. Let me get some garlic out of the fridge. And we're going to put that in the pot, too. Linda just wants to know what your favorite meat replacement is. Um, usually mushroom or chickpeas, but if you're talking about like the fake fake meat, I'm all big on chicken right now. I'm not much of a red meat girl. They're talking about oh. meat replacements. Oh, meat replacements. Um. Mushrooms or chickpeas usually are a lot good for meat replacements. Hello, Nick and Cody. All right, now I'm going to bet four cloves worth mint of garlic down in here. If you don't like a lot of garlic, leave it out or just put a little bit. And I know that we all said that garlic... The whole garlic has just more flavor, but sometimes mine don't look very good at first, so I just pack it up 
And then I get one of these big ones and I use it some, you know. All right. Now we're also going to put a big container of sliced mushrooms in. And these are the white button mushrooms. I always get the ones that say they're your cleaned or pre-cleaned or pre-washed on the package. I try to, at least. Shannon wants to know where your love of cooking came from. First came from watching what? I'm watching my mamma and aunt's cook. They're the ones that taught me everything that I know. And what, and if they didn't know, then, um, I would get cookbooks out and read them and read them and read them and magazines. Hey, Ryan. And then when the Food Network came about, I was hooked to the TV. Renee says she loves Chinese food and will you be doing any vegan Asian dishes soon? Um... Probably sure we will, because that's one of mine and Jamie's favorites, too. You can, um, some of them that I already have that, I don't know if they're vegan. I'll have to look at them. I'll have to go through skin. Um, but, like, there's the vegan alternatives that, like, make sure you use the love that takes um, soy sauce. Make sure yours is vegan. Um, there's a vegan hoisin sauce out there and stuff like that to use. And I need to get all of that. I've got the soy sauce. Mine is a mushroom based soy sauce that I use. I've always used it. Michael wants to know if there are any movies or TV shows that we watch while we're eating dinner and which ones are they? A ball about detective shows. So I was the CSI girl. Criminal Minds, uh, NCIS, uh, now I'm getting into The Resident, and The Good Doctor, um, of course, uh, there is one that I've been watching now, um, on, uh, um, Netflix, and it's called Anne with it E. And it's all about the Anne Green Gable series. I was all into that in, in my preteens. And I watched all the movies. Now they came out with a different kind of version of it. I also like I Zombie. So I like a zombie movies. Uh, uh, Z's. Uh, um, of course, The Walking Dead. Fear of the Walking Dead. There's all kinds of stuff that I can get into. Lisa wants to know... If you can use sliced mushrooms in a can, she says she doesn't have any sliced, but she has a full can. Will that still work? In this Why, dish? sure, just drain them real good of the liquid that they're in. Yeah, I sometimes I don't have fresh on hand, or they don't look good at the store, so I'll pick up a can for a particular recipe. I keep canned mushrooms on hand too. CT wants to know if you've ever catered. Now, how big is the biggest crowd you've ever cooked for? I have never catered, but I did do our we our wedding. So, well, how many guests we had? Maybe about two hundred. Two hundred, and so, um, we had pasta salads, different kinds of pasta salads. We had big fruit trays, veggie trays, and I did not make any of that. I went to a big bulk. Uh, food, uh, what do you call it? Um, production company where other people like restaurants get their food, and so I got the croissants and their chicken salad, and that's what we served with all kinds of other stuff. But then I ended up making our favors, um, suckers with like metal chocolate and stuff, it was so cute. I don't know, Linda, if this particular 
-hmm. Well, not Lil not Linda. I'm sorry. What? But Will Dragonfly. I'm sorry, little Dragonfly. But this mint may or may not have chemicals or sugar. However, you can purchase United States Department of Agriculture certified organic um, meat alternative here in the United States of America, of course. And if you do purchase meat alternatives that are certified organic by the Department of Agriculture of the United States government, then you are receiving a product that has no chemicals and no extra additives whatsoever. Yeah, they're non-GMOs, this brand. That I use. So these are non-GMO. They're a heat brand. Alright. What we're going to do now is put over a fourth of a cup of flour to a third. Because this is going to be our thickening agent for our gravy. Just regular flour. Even all your almond flour and stuff like that would work. If you can't do. If you're doing low, um, can't do flowers and stuff. Okay, we're just going to cook out that raw flour for a minute. Someone wants to know if you've ever made Filipino food. No, I haven't. I don't believe we've ever even had Filipino food. Actually, Kat, Sarah asked me to marry her and not to get to play around. And that's how I knew it was okay to get married because she asked me. So I knew she was serious. No one else was going to ask, right? <laughs> I found a cutie and hurry and snake him up. But I liked how Jamie's personality, he, um, everything about him. Okay, now we're going to come over with three and a half cups of beef broth, and we're using water, and then we're going to use our new vegetarian vegan broth base beef flavored. So I'm going to read the back of the package and put in whatever it says, two cups, two to the cup of water I put in. I can barely cook. I can't hardly cook at all. Okay. Now we're just going to stir it real good. Now we're going to come with salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to go bite on the salt first because of, I don't know how salty that bullion stuff that I used. I prefer veganism because of the pain factor. Meat equals pain. Okay. We're also going to put in two to three tablespoons of soy sauce. Whoops, I spilled some of it. Or the mushroom based soy sauce. I've always used that brand. 
Siri enjoys cooking. In fact, people who enjoy cooking, um, their food usually tastes better because they actually put their energy of their enjoyment of cooking into the food. And that's why you can have the same exact recipe made by a different person and the exact recipe, the exact brands of the ingredients go in and it will taste totally different because of the person's personal spiritual essence that they add to the recipe. I wanted a little bit of comfort food because we got snow yesterday. I woke up to snow and we still have it. We had like an arctic freeze last night. And it got down to, they say eight, but I think it was even colder. And it's supposed to be that way tonight too. So we're going to let that come up and start boiling and start, and then I'll start thickening. The day star isn't warming things up like he does in the spring and summer, but that's not far away. Did I ask, what are y'all cooking tonight for dinner? I know somebody's doing my macaroni and cheese. Be happy today wants to know if you have a P.O. box so they can send you a gift. Yes, it is down in the description under this video when it when it goes on attaches itself to the channel, then you it'll take a couple seconds after I sign off. And then you can go and it ha it's in the description part down all kinds of links are down in there. They also want to know if you can do a live unboxing of the gift you get. <coughs> Why, sure. Someone's having vegetable soup and grilled cheese. Mmm, that sounds good. We sushi, had, I like sushi. Um, we had um tomato soup and grilled cheese yesterday. I really like the vegan sushi. I don't know if that's what you meant. You may have meant the salmon. Is that what they use in sushi, Sarah? S certain sushi? Don't they use salmon? Yeah, and crab and all kinds of stuff. But I really like the vegan sushi. It's really, really good. I want to get back into sushi making. I used to make sushi all the time, but not with the raw um, seafood in it. We always did the veggie and stuff. So I'll probably get back into it. Because we like it real well. Haddock and Del Monte sweet potatoes. It's just now starting to come up to a bowl. Strawberries and cottage cheese. We love that. And we're not joking. We love it. I love cottage cheese with pineapple or peaches. We've even had it with blueberries and strawberries. It was really good. Sausages, potatoes, and onions. That's one of my favorite meals. Lasagna. You falafel. You're making me hungry. Yes, we've had falafel and the falafel pita sandwiches. Yeah. And the pita pockets are so good. I have that on my channel somewhere. Yeah. There's a search box on the channel if you want to know if I've done any kind of recipe for that kind of particular thing. It'll tell you after you put the search in. Chili, gumbo, hamburger pie, hamburger steaks with mushroom gravy. Also, hit the little bell at the bottom and so you can keep up to date with all my new lives and videos coming to it kind of uh, pinned you in. And then also, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe if you think you would like the particular recipes. Now, all my older, a lot of my older ones, um, we do a didn't eat vegetarian, so there's plenty of recipes you can go through. 
is starting to thicken. It's just taking its time. Tomato soup and grilled cheese is one of our favorites too. Vegetarian chili yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry not, about having your teeth pulled. Mine are not putting a flower. I've done that before. They get to talking and not really paying attention. Favorite Italian recipe and favorite pasta dish? If that ever happens to you, then you would do a cornstarch slurry. Turkey breast taters, corn on the cob. Turkey burgers and fries. Sweet potato sushi rolls with tempura. But what is your favorite pasta dish, love? Oh, I love pasta. Um, oh, I have to really think. Let me sit here, stand here, and think about it. If it's not thickening like you'd like it, then make a little cornstarch slurry. Um, you don't have to do the flour out also. So for it. Because I've already put a little bit of flour, so I just did a little bit of cornstarch. About a tablespoon and a half, with a tablespoon and a half of cold water, and stir it to mix. Um, let's see here. I like pasta with a lot of veggies and some kind of particular sauce. I know Jamie's going to say the Alfredo for his. Chicken Alfredo? Well, that chicken spadini you make is so good. And we called it we Tuscan to, Chicken on your old channel. I used to make um, a particular dish on my old channel that had lemon in the sauce and artichokes. I'll have to, I'll have to make it for this show. That's what we called Tuscan Chicken. Me and you called it. Yes, that. it's really good. You see, it's a real Okay, I'm going to turn it down because I think it's done. <clears throat> I plan to stay vegan. I don't know if Sarah will or not, but I can't stand the pain associated with eating meat. I just refuse to be in that much pain, okay, so I don't vegetarian. know. Vegetarian. Was... Right, vegetarian. That's what they not wanted vegan. to do. Sorry. It's a little bit different. You keep saying that all the time. I meant vegetarian. But yeah, we're plan I'm planning to stay vegetarian. Vegan where they don't use any animal products on our body, so that means it's the end of the deodorant, which already ain't. So we're almost vegans. None of our shampoos that we use. And then they don't do it in their household stuff either. So. And once I ascend just a little bit more, I'll be on a vegan diet. And Sarah can still have vegetarian. I'm not going to force her to eat something she doesn't want to eat. And I'm not going to force her not to eat stuff she loves to eat. But I will probably be vegan very soon. Okay. And, uh, and no longer eat We're gonna animal We're going to make a little mound products. of mashed potatoes. Make a little well. Animal byproducts equal pain also. I'm also going to put some peas and carrots on the plate. I think the animal spirits are trying to speak to us. Okay. I put it right on the mashed potatoes, but you don't have to. And you don't have to serve it with mashed potatoes. You could use, instead of mashed potato, you could do it with rice, butter noodles, or just eat it as is. But there you have it. Beefless tips with mushrooms and gravy. That looks divine, Sarah. I mean, that looks so divine. So, we're going to sign off now here and get us a bite to eat. See y'all at the next live. See you next time. Thanks for popping on. Thanks, everybody.